Welcome to the Center for Reproductive Medicine and Robotic Surgery. This video demonstrates the high-tech process of ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection. This technique is used in cases where there is severe male factor infertility, in which conventional IVF procedure is effective. The first step in this process is to retrieve the oocytes, or eggs, from the female's ovaries. Next, a semen sample is collected from a male partner and is processed to isolate the limited number of sperm cells in the ejaculate. Next, using a high power microscope and a microneedle, the sperm cells are agitated. This allows the sperm to fertilize the egg in a process called fertilization. Next, the sperm cells are drawn into the microneedles. New development in the identification of normal sperm cell has led to the development of IMSI, intracytoplasmic morphologically selected sperm injection. This procedure has improved ICSI success rates. In the final stage of ICSI, the mature egg is held using a micropipette under the microscope and the sperm cell inside the microneedle is injected into the egg. This process eliminates the molecular step in normal fertilization. These steps include binding of the sperm cap to the shell of the egg, the creation of a hole in the egg shell by an enzyme released from the sperm cap, penetration of the egg shell by the sperm, and the final electrical discharge at the surface of the egg that prevents other sperm from binding. This procedure was first performed in 1991 at the University of Brussels in Belgium. Here you see the result of ICSI, two beautiful embryos. The embryos were transferred on day five into the womb and resulted in twin pregnancies.